Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of where we're given a key. This is Pace Flight Simulator. And uh, it's my first time playing, so let's give this a try. I was just contacted by the PR representative, Mr. Noah, who uh, provided me with the key. I think it was yesterday. And I expressed some interest in space. So let's wait. I gotta put on my glasses so you can actually see what I'm doing. And this came at a great time because I was gonna stop playing uh, uh, Surviving Mars, even though there's new episodes coming out. So. Let's see, I'm gonna make this 1980 by 1080 is good. I'm making 90 FPS. I'll limit it because my computer might blow up. Here are the key bindings, F5. So if it, this is like a Kerbal Space Program. So I read a little bit about the uh, developer. He uses his application to work for a Kerbal Space Program. He he didn't get the job, but he, uh, he did uh, send this as an application and it turned out to be something he, that a community created a game out of. So was it 300 million people launched? Or 300 million rockets were launched. Oh, I'm trying to study the keys here. There was an astronaut who once said, everything you needed to know should be on one paper, right? This is several pages. So the keys here are, are almost like the same keys as a terrible space program, space for ignition. Control and shift for just throttle and min max zeta and x ray. Turn rockets Q and E. Press yes. Activate stage is enter. S different. Toggle map is M. Time warp. Left and right. Switch rocket. Okay. Let's give it a try. Let's look at the credits. So, Stefan my Moronia, designer program list. So if the music's a little too loud, I'll, I'll switch it around, um, or I'll edit it. I don't really know how to play, but let's do this. Main menu. Oh. Let's create a new world. Nez. Planet Nez, solar system, default. So, I don't know, what should I do? It's too hard. And uh, career mode, coming soon. Okay, looking for a career mode, something that could teach us. Let's go with hard. A new world. Right. Three times zero hours, difficulty hard. Now, right, what are we doing? Building a rocket? It's a Hawk engine, 3.5 tons of thrust. Uh, tons. Thrust is 120 tons. Chassis is 20, 240 SP. First stage of a rocket. All right. Fuel tank. What are we, uh, what's our plan? We're just gonna send it into orbit, I think. Rest away is 1.89. So the, the keys are kind of familiar to me. Tiny engine for landers. Used in space when high thrust. What's this? 
separator. Rapid to music thrust is in a priority plus two. The way is still 1.58. 24.8. How far do we want to go here? What is our uh, delta V? It's this symmetry interior view only. All right. Structural engines. We'll go with that. Do another coupler here. Heat shield. So there's a separation force here. I'm starting to remember the uh, KSP stuff. What is a parachute up here? All right. We could uh, just launch this thing. 1.39. Full throttle. Ignition. All right. How do we do this? And mission. We need a countdown. Wait. Let me look at the uh, settings. All right, activate stage. Let's enter. Toggle, toggle ignition. Engine off. Engine off. All right, we are going for lunch. Let's do all of our checks here. 100% throttle. Clear day. Mass is 86.2 tons. And we have 11 parts here. All right, let's do a countdown. We'll go for lunch. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, ignition. Let's start. We have booster ignition. Oh, what's happening? Remember, you got a velocity of 67 meters per 90 meters per second. Oh, what's happening? 2,000 meters. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to be turning here. How did he turn? Hold on here. Rotate part Q or E. Turn rocket Q re up. <laughs> you gotta get used to the controls. Alright. Doing a 90 degree heading. The same thing I have. Approaching a height of 17 kilometers. Velocity is 600 meters per second. How much fuel do I have left? 10%, right? So I'm gonna wait until I reach here. 53.9 kilometers. The velocity is going down. I'm gonna point towards the, uh, the dot. So how do I switch stages? Confused. Past the Carmen line, leaving atmosphere and reaching space. And pointing towards the dot. Um, go ahead and bottle up. Growing up now. Nope, oh, a liquid fuel. Alright, we got booster separation. Oh, you turn it on. Alright, there we go. Uh oh. Reaching back. <laughs> to go back up. Uh oh. This is not good. <laughs> Whoops. I think I screwed this.
this one up. I'm in the surface. I'm trying to reach back up. Perhaps this is ahead of me now. Should skim the surface. Which view I have 50%. It's not the most efficient way to get into orbit. I'm gonna wait until I. <laughs> this is an interesting game. I didn't think uh, I didn't think it would be like this. But, uh, let's give it a try. Right, we're approaching. Just gonna follow the dot to uh, serve fuel. The velocity should be, I think it's 22,070 in Kerbal. I keep wanting to press uh, A and D. Okay, we're at 20%. I need cons to conserve fuel for when I need to get back to Earth. Okay. Ready? What am I doing? Do we have orbit yet? Almost. I'm 52.8 kilometers. We still have some fuel, so... Let's see how we're doing. I wish I could rotate. Hold on, let me look at the uh, keys again. Ignition, mid-max throttle, turn rocket, QE. Toggle map and time warp switch rocket flip part rotate part toggle ignition. So there's no way to change the uh, stage acceleration 5x. All right, so I'm gonna try to make it the eight. Uh, I don't have enough fuel to go to the moon. I don't have my sheet of formulas to uh, compute the <laughs> mono delta v I need. to get to uh, what I need to do. But let's keep note of the velocity we had to reach to each orbit. And that we are, we need to be around 50,000 kilometers to reach space. So let's keep it light here. It almost feels like Kerbal Space Program. Almost. So we reach low Earth orbit. So F5 is safe. Right? In the orbit. So what we'll do now is uh, head back, I guess. Alright, so to do that, I have to go the opposite direction. So we'll reach the apoapsis, the highest point of the orbit. This is the periapsis. The opposite side is the uh, left side of the orbit. And there's a moon here. Where else can we reach? Venus, Mercury, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, what? Can go farther. All right, how do I get back? I lost my. Oops. How do I reset? Oops. Uh, map. All right, almost my way. I don't know where I am. Orientation is new. Whoops. How do I know which? This is not good. Do I center it back? Enter. I shouldn't have zoomed in that far. Let's see if I can turn Earth's upper atmosphere. Okay, my height's 48. I don't even know if I'm on separate real track. Oh, my stuff's overheating. Here you go. Capsule parachute. 
Heads 42, each shield. Oh, we're getting warm here. I think the tolerance is more than that, though. Okay, I hear something. We're coming in hot. We're at 120 degrees Celsius. Right at 36 kilometers. Very good. That's toasty. Still can't see the map. Uh oh. Something blew up. So this is 2D. I can't scroll. I can't look ahead of me. Right, hopefully I don't blow up here. Jeez. Oh, We're increasing in temperature. 900 Celsius. 1000 Celsius. 22 kilometers. Oh jeez. 19 kilometers. I think I... My entry angle is too... Too much here. Come to Earth's lower atmosphere. 14 kilometers. Velocity is going way down here. 12 kilometers. 11, 2500. Good thing it stopped me. I guess we could get rid of the heat shield, right? Right. Getting rid of the heat shield. We're approaching 3,000 meters. Closing 65, 60 meters per second. Parachute is half deployed. Right, we're at terrain height. There's the heat shield. Can't believe we lost them. I zoomed out to too far. Right, we got shoots deployed. We're at 1,500 meters. Our velocity is going down. Oh, this this is pretty similar to that concentrated part of a global space program where you're just launching. We're going doing space flight part. I'm definitely gonna try to see how far we can go. This is not a bad, uh, not a bad game. Keep in mind, this is our early access key, so... Um, this isn't, uh, finished. But we can see what we can do. Alright, we're approaching 200 meters. Something blew up. I think that's a heat shield. Velocity is 6 meters per second, which is a safe terminal velocity for uh, landing. Let's start closing in. Below 100 meters, 75, 50, 35. There's a green, a touchdown, and five. Oh, or one. All right, we're good. We have landed. Let's recover. Mission achievements. Raise low Earth orbit. We entered Earth's atmosphere. Max temperature is 2009 Celsius. Safely return to Earth. Cancel or destroy. All right. That wasn't too bad. Uh... I wasn't going to play uh, too long. I, I do have work tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. This was Space Flight um, Simulator. Thank you to the the people who, uh, who granted me the key. Let's see. We'll get the name. Oh, the, the PR rep for... Um, This game. Let's see, Mr. Noah. Thank you. All right. Um, let's read the uh, description. Space flight simulator, a game with real life physics where astronauts and engineers build their own rockets and explore the universe from developer Stefo by Mar Maronia.
It's fully blasted off Steam Early Access after more than 20 million astronauts launched successful space programs on the App Store and Google Play. Journey to the stars and beyond and discover new planets, custom rockets. Built from scratch. Sorry if I'm reading it uh, broken because uh, my screen isn't that large. In a liberating sandbox environment launch out into a realistically scaled solar system with familiar planets and real world terrains, climates, and gravity pulls with scientifically accurate rocket physics. Comparted community rocket scientists successfully launched over 300 million rockets to space with Android and iOS devices. I appreciate the uh, the key. I'm definitely going to uh, I'll play some more of this. I don't know if I'll make it a series, but this is something definitely uh, piques my interest. I, I love space games. And I do need to re-familiarize myself with the formula, so. But thank you guys. If you like this, uh, please hit the like button. If you want to see more future videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell, and I'll see you in three days. John Azadam signing out. Take care, stay safe. Remember, you're essential.